Erika Ito is the twin sister of Issa Ito, and the subject of the former search. As well as being a major character in Issa's story, she is someone of interest in herself. So in today's video, I will be covering the question, what happened to Erika, and attempting at least to get something of an answer. So with no more delay, let's just get right into this. <laughs> To begin, let's just cover some of the more basic information we have on Erika. Erika Ito is known to have been a twin sister of Issa. However, from the medical database photo, it does seem as though she had slightly longer hair than her sister. Erika Ito was the one who interrupted the bullies from bullying Arianne in the library, a fact which seems to bother Issa even by the events of the game. She was one of the many gestalts that lived in Rotfront, specifically Rotfront Sector C, and was employed as an assistant in her parents' bookstore. She was born on Vignetia in 14S, 52P, and died sometime before the events of the game. So with these basics out of the way, we can begin to try and dig and understand what happened to Issa's beloved sister. Erika's fate is largely unknown. However, there are some theories that suggest what could have happened to her to cause the demise we see by the end of the game. One such theory pertains to the library scene. In the library scene, we observe Arianne being bullied by a group of girls. We note from the text that flashes on the screen, which is again believed to be from Issa's perspective, that Erica would arrive and save Arianne from this attack. However, if one observes the uniform of these gas mask bullies, one would notice that one of them is wearing a sash of sorts. If this sash indicates seniority in a club or a part of a society, then we could assume that they are the daughter of a higher up in the Yusan nation and the result of attacking such a person likely wouldn't go well in this society's eyes. This can be assumed due to the tight connections between the state and the educational system, so to be high up in the education system such as being a club member or a student council member would just suggest that you were high up in the state itself. The result of this was Erica being punished for her actions, which would have likely been labeled as treason. The degree of punishment is unknown as she could have been sent to re-education on Wang or just flat out killed, but we do know that the nation is quite strict with its re-education and treason policies. Adding to this that she is Vignettian, which already connotates a belief that she would have had a rebellious spirit, I doubt the state would grant her mercy in this case. And we also need to add that all photos of Erica are corrupted or destroyed to a degree representing the state's desire to erase her, as has been done in totalitarian states that the nation is based off of. So, in a relevant stance, the family's perspective is that Erica is dead. Either because she actually is dead, killed by the state in a purge or re-educational purpose, or because the state simply told them that she's dead. Though this conclusion was likely not accepted by Issa, and that may be why Issa went on her own journey in the first place. We know this from her dialogue and general goal which is centered around finding a sister that is likely already dead. However, it seems to have been accepted at least to a degree by their mother, which can be seen from the shrine. A counter theory raises the issue of age differences between the Idos and Arianne that the medical database tells us, and suggests that from the time they would have graduated to when Arianne graduated, it creates a bit of an issue with the timeline as how could Arianne graduate years later and not know the fate of her friends? There are a couple of possible explanations here. 1. Arianne knows her friends are deceased, however chooses not to write about it in any notes or diaries. I view this as extremely unlikely, seeing as Arianne references them in a couple of notes and is the type of person that seems to have expressed remorse if she had known. Option 2. Arianne doesn't know what happened to the Edos due to the state erasing Erica. Possible, but Arianne and her mom were heavily connected to subversive activities, and seeing as Arianne worked at the bookstore, I doubt that she would have just cut ties. 3. The Edos and Arianne are in the same grade. This could be explained by how in some school systems, in certain countries and in the past, people of various ages would be in one classroom. The of credence to this idea is that the Edos are Vignettians and Arianne is from Lang and grew up in the mountains of Rotfront. These families are certainly not average, and are not average education, so perhaps the schooling they got was just remedial, or just a special class. This could be backed by how the state prioritizes the military and enlistment over anything else, thus the need for proper organized education only really needs to teach loyalty and test which part of the military's members would be applied where to people who aren't part of that core, essential part of the society. 
For me personally, I do feel as though Erica's death and disappearance is due to the bullies, as that just seems to all connect and work. And there is no real other alternate reason that I can see for why Erica is redacted the way she is. But that's just my thoughts, as I can fully understand if the age difference is just too much to reconcile, as it is a opposing fact. That's all I've got for you guys today. Hopefully you enjoyed this exploration into what happened to this lost sister. If you like my videos, feel free to subscribe, it helps the channel out, and if you'd like to talk to me or other Signalis fans about the game, theories, lore, or even mods, I have a link to my Discord VSL below. I enjoy making content about this great game, so special thanks to Mr. Skelly who supports my membership to help make that possible. Really appreciate you. This has been Christopher Beast, and uh, I hope to see you all next time.